Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you that a CFL ballast will run a 4 foot T12 tube. So yeah, there's a little, here's a small compact fluorescent bulb ballast. The white wire is my neutral wire and my red wire is the hot going to the pins on the end of this tube. These are two pins right there. And also this white wire is your neutral and this orange wire is the hot going to these other two pins on the other side of the tube. So right here, I just got an old compact fluorescent bulb just to tear the ballast out. And these two wires with the wire nuts here are your 120 volt mains. Now when you guys hook these up, you can hook it up however you want from each of the pins. It do, don't worry about polarity or anything because all it is is a small little filament that just fires up and then it gets all the gases going in the tube. So if you hook them up a different way from the other end, it's fine. It's a filament, that's all it is. Got some coating on it. It's crazy how, how the small technology runs this old technology because Normally these tubes are known to have big magnetic ballasts that are real heavy and bulky. And it's down to size to this. That's just pretty amazing. This is like the size of probably like a half dollar coin right here. Driving this big T12 tube. And I have my black cable going into an extension cord. Going back here. Back to this other end right here. I'll try to hook up to this receptacle watch. Look at that. That's a T12 running on a a compact fluorescent bulb ballast, or you could call it a CFL ballast. But look at that. That is just amazing. If you wanted to, you could tear your LCD screen apart and even hook the high voltage up to this, and it won't even hurt this tube. I guarantee that will work as well. Now the story behind this tube was I just took it off of fixture because I thought it was dead because it wasn't lighting up. So I just took it down because it wasn't working in pairs. So I just took it down and I guess it's good. So now there's a CFL ballast running this guy. And this came from all the way from Mexico as well. So. And as you notice, when I unplug it, it doesn't flicker as much. It'll, it'll do, it flickers like one time, that's it. It doesn't flicker like 30 times when you turn on the tube. Because in the old fixture, it would have flickered like crazy. There's zero flicker. It's just like... It just like darts. It's a rapid ballast. Kind of like this guy here. That's a rapid ballast fixture. This is also a rapid ballast fixture as well now. And you could do this by, you could test tubes with this. If you have a bunch of T12s and you don't know which ones are good, you could definitely use a CFL for four foot tubes. And I guarantee it'll work with four foot T8s or smaller. I don't know about eight foot T12s or T8s, but it might work in a way. It might be extra dim. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to me and have a nice day.